Hello Pokemon fans, Draspy here. Today we're going to be talking about the Pokemon movie upcoming, Pokemon 20, Pokemon I Choose You. Slight differences in the movie, mainly as you can see in this picture here, Ash has no pink rubber gloves and there are a few other small detail differences that may or may not be plot related. As for the whole plot, we do know that he is going to be focusing on the pursuit of Oho, which is something he never did in the anime. I mean, he was interested in Oho, it flew over, but that was just it. It was a ho cameo sending a nod to the new region. However, things get interesting when you consider that Pokemon I Choose You and the original series episode I Choose You have these slight differences which would open up the possibility for multiverses. Now before you go on about how there are no multiverses in the Pokemon anime, we do have a mention of something like a multiverse in the anime. In XY37, we get to see in the Cave of Mirrors episode, Ash goes to an almost negaverse, however, well, that could be written off as Negaverse, they did not describe it as such. It was described as a parallel dimension, and that there are other parallel dimensions that came forth every dawn. So that means that there were more than one, so it wasn't just one parallel dimension. There were multiple of these, making a multiverse. Now, multiverses are kind of like parallel dimensions in one aspect, but without getting too much into that, the point is the Pokemon I Choose You movie holds tons of potential to impact the way we look at the anime. If this shows that there are multiverses in the Pokemon anime, as we know there already are in the game world, then we know that it opens up huge possibilities to how we see Ash's age, because it's just been accepted by now that Ash is Forever 10. However, in a multiverse, that could open up an alternate timelines where Ash is indeed 10. As if we don't have to do mental gymnastics to explain away why, despite the fact that he's lived for almost three years now, at least, he's still 10. But if we have multiple timelines, we could probably contort things in a more sens sensible uh, way to explain this. Now, I'm not saying that this will explain everything. It will be still confusing. However, the possibilities of multiverses in the Pokemon anime would be really interesting. I would love it. It would explain a lot. It's just an exciting prospect to add the multiverse, and especially it would come right before we're going to be having Ultra Beast. So all that combined makes it a great addition to the anime. To have the Ultra Beast coming soon, and then to have this multiverse confirmation, it all lines up perfectly. It, it's almost like Nintendo planned this, which, which they did. So that's how I would see it impacting the series. Now, if there is no multiverse, I think this will still explain Ash's Forever Being 10. Ash's Forever 10 will be explained by the fact that if he sees Ho-Ho, maybe we'll get the whole immortality thing or whatnot, eternal happiness deal explained a little more because he's going to be pursuing him, and we'll also get to see a nice nostalgia trip. So, I believe that this film will be a great service to older fans because now we'll know why Ash is Forever 10, we'll know a lot of things that we didn't know before. So there you have it, that's my current thoughts on the Pokemon I Choose You movie. I will be continuing to make updates as we get information, but based on what I've seen in the trailer, comparing it to the Pokemon I Choose You episode, there you have it. I, I don't know if I can say more productively, so I will let you go on with your day if you haven't already exited out of this video, and please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, do whatever you want here. There's a lot of things you can do on this page, like you could click on another video and you could keep watching YouTube for three hours. I don't know what you're going to do. That's not my business. I'll see you later.